We got news late last week that President Trump had made an appointment uh, picking a Milwaukee attorney for the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. It seems like there's been a lot of drama around that vacancy. Um, what's been going on there? Yeah, so this is, uh, there's a lot of inside baseball involved in this, but basically this is the oldest or longest uh, vacancy in the federal appellate courts. It goes back to, to 2010. These are the, short of the Supreme Court, these are the most important uh, seats in the federal judiciary. And so they're really important to people on the left and people on the right, but basically, for the last six years of the Obama presidency, Republicans essentially blocked um, uh, him from filling this vacancy. Ron Johnson had objections to his first nominee. Then the, he negotiated a deal with Tammy Baldwin, the, the Democratic senator, over the changes to Wisconsin's longstanding nominating commission. Then uh, two more a new set of names came after that, and uh, and the Republicans, once President Obama finally made a nomination, refused to act on it in the last year of his presidency. So now, after all that time, it's the Republicans under President Trump who, in theory, get to fill this seat. Um, but in order to fill it, they may have to kind of you know go against some of the rules that they operated by um, when they were when they, they were making it difficult for President Obama to fill this seat. Um, essentially, the new nominee didn't get the votes from the nominating commission um, that the charter of the nominating commission calls for. He got four votes out of six instead of five. And um, this is also going to be a test of whether the Senate, ha which has a longstanding practice of not um, approving judicial nominees without the support of both home state senators, whatever party, if Tammy Baldwin, which is a real possibility, opposes this nomination, she's been very critical of it, then um, the Senate would have to kind of end their longstanding practice of essentially giving home state senators veto power if they wanted to go ahead and confirm this nomination and fill the vacancy.